Hello knitters! Today I am going to demonstrate how to begin top down two at a time socks using the magic loop. For this we'll need a circular needle with a long cable, at least 36 inch needle set, and we'll need two balls of yarn, one for each sock. Now Normally I do socks on fingering weight yarn and normally I cast on 64 stitches or 72 stitches per sock depending on who I am making them for. But for purposes of demonstration we're going to use worsted weight yarn and we're also only going to do 12 stitch socks. So the first step is to cast on half of the stitches for the first sock. Don't need a super long tail because we're only doing 12 stitches. I use for socks normally the German twisted cast on because it's a little bit stretchy. So that's what I'm gonna do for this. Two, three, four, five and six. So we've got half the stitches cast on for the first sock and we will slide that down towards the other end of the cable, not on the needle, but close to the needle. Put those off to the side. We'll cast on the other half of those socks after we cast on the second sock second sock we're going to cast on all 12 stitches. Again I will use the German twisted cast on and I do have another video that explains how to do that. It's also called the old Norwegian cast on. Four, Got 12 stitches cast on for that. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Oh, one extra. Take that off. Always good to count. Okay, so we've got the second sock cast on and we've got half the stitches for the first sock. The second sock we're going to slide down onto the cable and it's just gonna hang out there and wait until we um, cast on the second half of the stitches for the first sock. Okay, so we've got the first half cast on. We're actually going to flip it over and put it this direction so it's oriented so that we can use the other end of the needle to cast on for the second half of the stitches. We're going to pull this down. We don't need it to be right next to the needle because we want to have some flexibility of movement when we cast on the second sock. Try and keep the first or the second sock out of the way and we're going to cast on the second half of the stitches for the first sock. Getting this first one done is a little bit hard, but we orient it so the stitches are on the needle there, and then we've got the second half of the needle here. Okay, so we're going to, again, do the German twisted cast on. Whoops, I'm just not getting this quite right. Okay, we've got it there. Come around, through, and grab it. Okay, that first stitch is always a little bit wonky, but once you've got the first one there, you're set up to do the rest of them. Move that needle out of the way a little bit more. Always having more stitches or more fabric 
adds to the stability of everything. So we've got six stitches cast on. So now we are going to begin the magic loop. So we've got the first sock cast on here and it's gonna to be towards the ends. And then the second sock is down here on the needle and we need to divide that into two halves so that we'll be ready to work in the round. Move our yarn out of the way. So we'll need, we're gonna flip this cable like this and have half the stitches on one half of the cable and half the stitches on the other half of the cable. So we'll count our six stitches and know where to divide. We're going to just pinch that together, grab the cable, and pull it through. So we've got six stitches on each side of the cable there. And we'll come, and those are gonna wait for a little while till we connect the first sock together. Once you get this going, it's not so, um, crazy and you don't have to move your yarn around nearly as much but at the beginning there is a little bit of maneuvering that you have to do to keep things from getting tangled up so when we connect it in the round we want the yarn and the tail connected to the back needle and we don't want to knit with the the tail obviously the first needle the stitches are going to be towards the point and the back needle you're gonna pull out and you're gonna work across the front stitches. Normally, you'd probably do this in ribbing. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm just gonna knit these just to make it a little bit quicker. Okay, so we've knit across those six stitches and we've joined the first sock. Then we're going to join the second sock. And again, we need to maneuver it so that the stitches that are connected to the yarn are on the back half of the cable and the stitches that we're gonna work are on the front half. Just have to move our stitches on the needle so that the front ones are closest to the front point. We can move this first sock back and out of the way and then we're going to join and work across the first half of the stitches on the second sock. Now we've begun two at a time socks on the magic loop. Both socks are connected to work in the round. Thanks for watching. See you soon.